before we get into basketball, what's going on in Monrovia, in Liberia? Yeah. The Super Eagles of Nigeria customers are cruising mm -hmm. away. Yeah, 2 new. <laughs> yeah, Nigeria yeah. is leading 2 new yeah. against the Lone Stars. Uh, no, there's nothing Joshua can do about this. No, but, but the, uh, um, well, Emil Yekura, of course. Um, mm. um, Simi uh, Wankwa. Simi Wankwa. Simi, I mean, both of them getting their first goals mm -hmm. for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Awesome. I think it's a good one. So Nigeria leads two goals to nil mm. at um, the stadium in Morovia. And hopefully, mm. it will continue like this. <laughs> Let's win well. No love, win well. no love. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's all good. On, uh, it's a friendly match. But let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see what uh, Liberia can do with that. But at the moment, the Super Eagles are leading by two goals to nothing. I was about to tell you about uh, women's basketball. The World Cup is ready to uh, to come. It will it will kick off. Um, it will serve off right there in Spain. Yeah, it's the World Cup for the ladies on the twenty second of this month. And the D Tigress, we visited uh, their training camp today, and it's a whole lot of work going down uh cosmos under the watchful eyes of coach holy look at him right there watching them uh they, they did a lot with the drills with the positioning and i must tell you one thing i noticed i love the teamwork i saw with these girls today yes uh, of course um you know that teamwork has always been there um yes they had a bit of um you know scrimmage um, in in their training camp at atlanta but i think everything is uh, kind of over i mean their captain came back um i think some days ago at Dari Lonu. Um, came back some days ago, and then mm -hmm. certainly um, the team is ready, and they feel that um, they're going to be doing, you know, good things in Spain. They're mm. meeting Australia. Australia, first one match. of the first match. Uh, that's a tough, that's a tough uh, time. That's a very tough time. Uh, but it's a good thing that um, the training is there. I, I, I like the fact that um, they have done like close to two months of training, intensive training, um, on all this, and. Uh, you know, and they'll still go to Turkey for the final phase. Yeah, they'll of still go to Turkey for the final to phase too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is good. That shows that um, the Nigeria Basketball Federation are doing something mm -hmm. right. I mean, um, ever since um, I think from 2015, yeah. the Nigeria Basketball Federation has, um, you know, when it comes to the national team, yeah. they've been taking spot on decisions, yeah. and, and I think it's actually very nice. And hopefully. These girls will do us proud yeah. in Spain. We didn't see the home base players, uh, but we understand why. And that's why we keep talking about the league. You must play games. You must be consistent. But the, another good thing about this team is that the bulk of the team that won at the last Afro basket are there. They're still there. I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> pretty much um, when, when you look at them. I see Evelyn, I see Evelyn Akato. I see Sarah Ogoke. A whole lot that's of them. Aisha Mohammed yes. right there also. A, 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 so. a whole lot mm. of them are there. Um, yeah, pretty much 90% of the team that won are there. So uh, you, you would say that uh, uh, they should be able to do well. Um, the the uh, um, team play, you know, knowing each other um, is actually good. And you can see that they're having fun like, trying to win the ball. Oh, good and shot. I think they should work yeah, on the throws yeah, as good well. Shot. And the when you look at well. it, they're not that big, not that tall. And then you start wondering, you don't get a steep power forwards as strong as in the, the Madhu that, you know, called it quits with the team. And that was a worry. And that was a question I threw to coach uh, Otis Uli. He said, look, okay. uh, what's the strength of this team? He has the answer. Let's listen to him. Our strength is speed. And we're strong enough that you got to catch up with us. We got we to gotta be able to dictate a tempo that negates some of that power. You're not going to be able to do that the entire game, but the majority of the game, you want them having to chase you and grabbing the shorts. We're going to use all 12 people, intelligence, and being able to make plays. We just got to shoot it better and take care of the ball down the stretch when we're under duress. And they don't think we can think. We're the smartest human beings on the face of the earth, and they need to understand that. And they, we're not going to let them dictate you know, how smart we are. This is where life began, in this continent right here. And we're going to help them remember we're the most intelligent people on the face of this earth. I guess you, you can expect a lot of energy, a lot of spirit, hard work. We don't know what to expect. We had, none of us have been in the World Cup stage, so it's going to be a new experience for us, which I think can work in our advantage. But energy, hard work, defense, intensity, having fun, smiling, dancing, everything. You can expect it all. Um, I think the coach has made it easy. It hasn't been easy just, like, changing the concepts a little bit. But as far as we know, you know, basketball is basketball. So uh, everything has been going smoothly. Uh, we're just working hard, learning every day, repetition, repetition, and then we're getting it.